I'm going to try to explain to you what my life was like in early recovery and why I want to focus on early recovery because this video has something to do or does have to do with the ebbs and flows of life. Before I drank, when I was a young fella, you know, life was pretty chaotic with for me. It really was. I had no sense of uh, how life was supposed to be calm and how life was supposed to be peaceful at times. I had no sense of that. It was always chaotic. It was always jumping. And then when I was 13 years old, I started to drink and drug. So I was comatized or I was in a coma sort of thing for about 14 years after that, 14 or 15 years, I wasn't in reality. There's no way I was in reality. I was half in the bag all the time or drinking all the time, especially towards the end, I was doing drugs. Just always a little high, always a little glow on. So when I sobered up, I had a really hard time. I was very immature. And like I said, a little bit back here in this video, that I had a very different outlook of life in early sobriety. I thought life, would have been a lot calmer. I thought life, once you sobered up, was more peaceful and harmonious. Because I used to look around at other people and think, you know, they got it together. They're not so behavioral. They're not freaking out when something happens to them. They don't give their boss the big finger, tell them to F off and walk off the job when, when, when something happens at work. They deal with issues. They deal with their problems and they ride them out. And I didn't have that ability when I sobered up. I did not have that ability to deal with the ups and downs of life. My behavior and my words and everything about me reflected on how the world around me treated me. I was very responsive or very reactive to the world. I really was. My sobriety in the first one years to a number of years was very unstable and very chaotic. And I thought, what the hell is wrong with me? Why am I acting out still in my behavior? Why am I still acting out? Why is it that I cannot act like regular people? A problem comes up with them or an issue comes up at work and they handle it responsibly and they just ride it out. It was, it was weird. And when I'm respond, what I'm talking about was, was bizarre, was insanity. It really was. And the trick that I finally learned, or not the trick, or what I've learned over time in recovery, I got many years of recovery, that it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter to a certain extent what's happening to me outside of my body, of my mind, what's happening to me. All that matters is the way I handle it and deal with it. And over time, using the steps of recovery, going to counseling, I've learned not to, not to react or not to be so quick to react in situations in life. I needed to learn that because I wasn't reacting to my outside environment, I needed to stay grounded within myself. Let the monkeys run the zoo, but just don't be a part of the act. And that took me many years to, to get a handle on, you know, to pause, stop reacting, minding my own business. I don't have to be a part of things. My emotional uh, maturity, my emotional intelligence had to grow in a way that I wasn't so reactive. That peace and understanding and that peace and calmness in storms, I wanted it. I wanted it. And the collateral damage that I was still causing in early recovery did not reflect what I really wanted to, to achieve in my sobriety. I thought that's the way life was, but it's not. My emotions were controlling my life. And if your emotions are controlling your life, you're going to have a hard time. You're going to have a hard time understanding the world around you because your emotional reaction to things around you will distort your life will distort what you are thinking. They really will. Emotions are, are important, but we can't let our emotions run our sober life. We can't. When I sobered up for many years, my emotions were running my life. My wife said, Terry, you have an emotional regulation problem. 
You can't regulate your emotions. And I had to find ways to do that. Counseling, talking about them, understanding, feeling the hurt, feeling the pain, feeling the fear, but not reacting to it, responding to it in a respectful, positive way. I had to learn that. And I was very immature when I came into sobriety and my parenting, when I was very young, they didn't teach me how to cope with life. They didn't teach me how to deal with my emotions. They didn't teach me that. So I was always under, under the gun or felt, I don't know what I felt, but it was really weird. Life itself did not get better because I was sober. Life got better because I built awareness around my behavior and I started taking responsibility for my feelings, for my behavior, and for the way I was thinking. And when I started doing that, I started to mature. My outcomes of situations were a lot better and I start stopped harming myself and started building one day at a time a more positive and more productive life in sobriety with the help of the steps, with the help of a higher power, with the help of a sponsor, with the help of reaching out, I was able to do that. Life is not perfect. It has its ebbs and flows, but it does not have to mean that I have to destroy myself or go out of my comfort zone to fix things. I really don't. I can look at it objectively now and respond respectfully and respond in a way that the outcome can be more positive and the collateral damage to my own life is not as severe. And that's what's on my mind today. And you know something? Emotional sobriety is key to our sobriety. It really, really is, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel. We're willing to live sober one day at a time, okay? Sobriety, sobriety is freedom. It really is. Remember, the last chapter in your life is not written. We can rewrite our lives. We can do that. If you didn't have a chance to do it in the last five years or 10 years, take the opportunity now to start writing a new chapter in your life, okay? God bless. Uh, stay sober. Stay safe. Ciao for now. It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm sober. I'm having a great life today. I really, really am. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.